Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. After a little uh, excursion around the Balkans, I'm now back in East Slovakia and the Carpathians. This morning, my wife and me are in the forest mushroom hunting. It's a big activity over here. Specifically, we're looking for birch bolete, sep or porcini, as some of you may know it. And a very distinct Slovak mushroom called red cap. I suppose it's the easiest way of translating it. Unfortunately, we seem to have missed mushroom season by about two weeks. There are mushrooms around, but most of them are dried and old. And because we've been having torrential rain for an extended period, It looks like uh, September's fungi have already taken over. There are two mushroom seasons we normally go for. One is in May and the second one is the middle of July. To really find good set, porcini, you need to wait till there's been a few days heavy rain and then a couple of days sun. As you can see today, we have the sun, but it's already too late. We have found some, but not the, uh, the bounty of some years. But mushrooms are also finicky because they have growing cycles themselves. You'll have one year where you're filling bags and bags and baskets filled with them and then the next year you'll find very few because the spores need chance to regrow. One thing though is the forest is stunning today. It's absolutely incredible. It's been a while since I've been actually deep into the forest. And there are lots of tracks around from deer and boar. This forest is renowned for wolves, so, but I doubt we'll see those. And of course, a few weeks ago, there was a, a man was killed by a bear, not too far away from where I live. So here's hoping we don't meet a bear. But it is a beautiful, beautiful forest. There's lynx here, pine martens, raccoon dogs, jackal, lots of foxes, stunning amount of bird life and fungi everywhere. Just not what we're looking for. One thing you have to remember is that we're still in this pandemic. And many of you are still trapped in an urban environment. Yes, you have been given some freedom. You can go to a shop or a bar, but there are still major restrictions. 
I recommend each and every one of you take some time and go out into the forest. Now mushroom picking I wouldn't suggest because if you don't know what you're looking for you can really cause yourself problems health wise. But there are lots of activities you can do in the forest. And just listen to the sound, the sound of the stream, the sound of the birds. It eats away stress. It really does. It also reminds me that we're part of this planet, each and every one of us. When you're trapped in a concrete box, in a concrete cityscape, surrounded by traffic and neon lights, it's easy to forget we're part of this. Every tree, every animal, every mushroom. This is part of us and we are part of it. But the only way to remind yourself of this is to come out here into nature. Reacquaint yourself with your origins. Because what's happened in the last few hundred years and is escalating exponentially is blinkers are being put on your eyes. This is being hidden from you. And what you are being shown of nature is not real nature. It's almost artificial. You get the Disney version of nature, where all the animals have names and dance around in clothes. That's not nature. Nor is nature, you know, walking around some heavily lined path with barriers around it. That's not nature either. Nature is a beautiful thing, but it's, it's also quite brutal. We're getting very close now to Ruya, the rutting season. Hopefully I'll be making some sound recordings of that, of the red deer stags baying day and night, because that will start in a few weeks. Already, two nights ago, I was driving home and there was a stag just standing in the middle of a field next to the road. And they don't normally do that until rutting season. But because the weather is so messed up this year, and of course we had a tornado 40 miles away, three nights ago, a tornado, we don't get tornadoes. Because the weather's messed up, because the seasons are messed up, fungi are growing out of season, and stags think it's already rutting season, and they got another month for that. It's so beautiful, though. it really is. So, so beautiful. Don't let yourselves get blinded by what society is telling you. Always find out things for yourself. And the only way of doing that is through experiential learning by experiencing it yourself and learning from it. Like I've said before, things may not be how you think. Things you may think you would love, you may not. And things you think you may hate, you may love. But the only way of knowing this is by experiencing it. And unfortunately, experience often means taking risks, leaving the safety of your home environment and getting out there and truly experiencing things. It really is beautiful. 
Anyway, as always, be free.